Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Somehow it's happened again, guys. We're getting another Mbappe Player of the Month SBC soon in FC24. But how much will it cost and when is it going to be dropping on this game? We're going to cover all the details today along with leaks about today's Team of the Week and a lot more pertaining to the market and upgrades we should be seeing today on this game as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content, and it should be quick because yesterday wasn't a crazy day. It was a pretty quiet Tuesday. We're starting off with the 85-plus player pick that they did put out yesterday. We can only do it one time. Honestly, this seems a little bit unnecessary with the 85 double, the 83 times 10, 78-plus player pick, and still the radioactive crafting upgrade still available. There's plenty of upgrade pack options. So, I mean, we all love a player pick. We can do it once every two days. It's out for six days. So it's there. Okay. It's a little bit expensive, but I think we like the other upgrade packs better. So that one's just kind of there, but it was content that we had yesterday as well as a brand new SBC, another, the third Hoyland brother. It is Emil Hoyland, uh, also from Copenhagen, 85 rated and also evolvable. Yes, this SBC is cheap because he would be discard on the market if he was there. I mean, it's three star, four star, six foot one. And Mill Hoyland, he has some decent stats, 98 balance, 99 heading, 99 strength, 98 jumping. So if you want to have some fun with it, he's got finesse shot as well. If you want to have some fun with it, he can be evolved. And I think this is the SBC that EA was alluding to on their website that we maybe looked at a couple of days ago um, in reference to an SBC player they were going to drop that was going to tie into a evolution that you could take them to another level. But of course, the evolution that dropped yesterday that you can put Emil Hoyland in and a lot of other strikers is the Trey Quartista Time Evo, and it's paid. 75,000 coins to get this evolution done. This was probably the biggest piece of content yesterday. We've had a lot of evolutions recently, like three of them to be exact, right? Um, of course, this one's paid though. Again, another barrier to entry that a lot of people do not like. But the interesting thing is, this is the second evo in a row that actually gives you a play style plus as a part of the end product and once again it's a pretty good one tiki taka play style plus now osaman who you can see here in the club for me uh is one of the most popular players that people are putting into this evolution because he gets a pretty nice passing boost and that's the biggest part about this is you get a huge passing boost for your striker now again it's like why why do i care about a huge passing boost for my striker well it, it can make the gameplay a lot better but honestly there's a specific position i feel like if you have a striker who can also play center attacking mid they might benefit from this evolution the most but also it's paid right once again 75,000 coins so it's very downvoted because people don't like paid evolutions it feels like you're not getting a card or very few options that you get from this would be a card that would actually sell for more than what the price of the evo is on the market i think that's the biggest problem but if you do take a look at a few of these cards there are some nice ones in here um you can just even look at some of the eligible cards here and see there's some special cards like the brand new Hoyland you can put into this. Uh, Brout Brunez, Holland's cousin. Awoni, Ali Watkins, as you saw on my screen, as an example. Akpom, uh, Jimenez, the player of the month. Serge Nabry, I think, is actually a sleeper option. If you're a Bayern fan, he can play on the, the left and the right mid and also have this big passing boost. That might be very helpful for a card like him. I mean, yes, the Osman that we just looked at, yes, that could be very helpful. There's probably some really, really good ones out there. I love looking at the popular evolutions page on Footbin, like this 91 rated Sebastian Haller. But again, it's like how many of these cards with even this nice big passing boost that you can give, like even this Cezinha, right? This Cezinha is a very, very popular card right now. Of course, this is a a set of evolutions that probably most people can't do but like this is the type of player as a center attack in mid that would benefit from tiki taka plus it's another one of those evos it's just like it's a lot of coins and it doesn't feel like it fits for everybody at least right now but it's there so i'm not going to complain it's decent content if it's an evo that you do end up wanting to do it also requires a decent amount of games i think you have to play it's either 15 it's at least 15 games i believe to get it done so it takes coins and a bit of grind, but you do get a playstyle plus. So it is one of the more kind of meta playstyle pluses, I think, for the current new patch. I haven't used Tiki Taka plus 
except for like the very beginning of the game actually um but there are a lot of people that are i think are doing that evolution and trying to fit in some players that maybe they had evolved before like maybe i don't know if founders dan juma can be put in there or maybe some other older players that they're putting in from older evos but that's just an evo that i think is so so just because of the price now Definitely keep an eye out for some cool combinations, as there always are with those types of Evos. But I think for me, it's not one that I'm going to be completing right away. Now, I want to take a look at some of the FC Pro Live cards. Simicon and all these FC Pro Live cards are still not upgraded. And they were supposed to be upgraded today, guys, but they have not been. So that is very intriguing. And my game looks like it's frozen as well. So that's lovely. And we're going to reset that in a second. But uh, I don't know what EA is waiting on. I even think that some of the pro players have actually tweeted out the official cards um but of course they are not showing as upgraded right now so yeah we're just still waiting on that and ea's fallen behind on those upgrades hopefully that does not mean that they are going to fall behind on the upgrades that are coming today on a wednesday as well for even more cards more hyped cards with those thunderstruck items so we'll take a look at that in just a second but let's get to the news okay let's get to the big news that was yesterday the news that was dropped the leaks it's not even really a leak. It's con it's confirmed. It's confirmation, right? Foot Sheriff tweeted this out, but we're going straight to the source as we talked about yesterday on stream at UNFP on Twitter. If you ever wonder about League One Player of the Month, this is the official website or the official Twitter page of the UNFP who announced this vote and hold the vote and everything. They tweeted that Mbappe has won Player of the Month. It's his 11th player of the month trophy which is pretty crazy and then of course foot sheriff went out to confirm that again by tweeting out that we were getting a player of the month mbappe sbc most likely that is coming to this game very soon and now it's like well we just had the 92 what is he what's the next sbc gonna look like right a lot of us including myself just did the 92 right and that's where all the hype has been that's where all the hype is this player of the month, which still has, I believe, nine days left on it. So now that Mbappe has won back-to-back -back player of the month, when is this next, next SBC going to drop and what is it going to look like? Well, first of all, when is it going to drop? This Mbappe, like I said, still has nine days remaining. I can't imagine that they would want the two Mbappe SBCs to be out at the same time or at least without with, with much overlap, right? And of course, we did not see that League One player of the month was on EA's listed release of SBCs this week so I do not expect it to be this week at all at the earliest I could see it being next week at the latter stages of the week right because nine days from now this Mbappe is going to go away and that would be a perfect time for the brand new one to slot in so sometime between I can say at the, again at the earliest like Wednesday of next week before we probably look at more of a like a almost right before Christmas time frame before this SBC would potentially drop and if it's going to be dropped what rating is it going to be is the other question it's shown as a 93 on this concept but actually guys yes we have the 92 we would think 93 would be the next logical step up for a player of the month sbc but technically if we're going to be getting a team of the group stage mbappe in the promo coming this friday team of the group stage then couldn't the sbc also be a 94 which i guess technically yes it could be but it kind of falls us back into the same situation that we had before where we were like hmm Mbappe just had the 92 inform is he gonna get a 93 rated player of the month now well no he didn't right he got a 92 I would imagine that even after he gets a 93 rated team of the group stage card we're guessing 93 rated I don't think EA would upgrade him to a 94 this stage of the game as well and take away one of those ratings where they could put another Mbappe promo card in the future right I think they're gonna release a 93 rated team of the group stage Mbappe because he is leaked to be in the team so that would also make me think that the player of the month would be 93 as well. I think this is a pretty good prediction to expect that Mbappe would be of this 93 rating. Now also, how much would it cost, right? Because this Mbappe that we've just had is 3.8 million coins, just shy of 4 mil, which is okay value. When you look at the inform, it's still 4.1 million coins. And I mean, apart from it being 5.3 million coins about a week ago before four days ago before it's dropped off literally a mil uh in the last week again we're in a big time december downturn right now especially on some of the top tier cards it is definitely happening as we continue to see prices drop um the 3.8 mil when you compare this inform to the sbc seems like pretty good value now for a 93 mbappe number one if this card is still f four million coins 
Yes, we're going to be getting a team of the group stage. It probably is going to be, what, five to six million coins. So does that mean that this SBC is going to be five to six million coins as well? I would have to think that a 93 Mbappe would probably still be five million coins plus. Maybe the SBC is like four point something, four point highs. A million coins more expensive than this would be at least my expectation, like 4.8, 4.9 million coins, adding more squads for a 93 Mbappe, which is going to seem even more expensive and tougher to do. But it also makes you feel like, especially for me, or if any of you guys have done the 92 Mbappe, it's like, well, this Mbappe right here, I've already completed it. So is there going to be a shortcut for us to maybe upgrade our 92 Mbappe to get to the 93 when it comes out maybe even easier. And I think we can dream about that, we can hope for that, but guys, I feel like there's a 99% chance that that is not gonna happen. I mean, it happened in a couple FIFAs ago when Marco Royce was winning Player of the Months, like he won like three or four Player of the Months in the entire year of the Bundesliga, and they allowed us to put one of his POTMs into one of the next ones. I can't see that happening with an Mbappe. I think it's wishful thinking. I hope that it works because I would do that, turn in my 92 to get a 93. Why not? But I think you have, if you have the 92, you've gone through all the work, or even if you're still working through the 92, I wouldn't feel disappointed and like, oh man, I was just doing the Mbappe SBC and now there's another one that's going to be coming out. Do I stop my progress on this one? I wouldn't because I honestly get, again, think that the Mbappe SBC now is going to be the better value one, kind of just like we had last year. If you guys remember in FIFA 23, we had the Mbappe player the month that came out during team of the year in January. And then he got two months later, another player of the month SBC, but this one's value compared to this one, it was crazy. Like this 93 Mbappe was crazy expensive, 4.8 million coins. When it first came out, it was 4.3. And when this 92 first came out, it was during team of the year, which made it a lot more craftable and it was 2 million coins. So a ton of people did this one, right? And then the next one came out and everybody was like, oh, I'm so glad I did the first one. I think it's going to be a similar scenario this time around. I think you'll be glad if you did the 92 and it won't be like, oh my goodness, I'm getting a minus one rated card over the better one that's out. I think you'll be just fine and happy with a 92 rated player of the month Mbappe. So that's kind of the hope that we we're looking for there. Now, other question is, Nate, since uh, this new Mbappe is going to be coming out and it's going to be coming out here in mid to latter part of December, does that mean that it'll actually be available during team of the year? And it really does all depend on when Team of the Year starts. Last year, Team of the Year started in kind of like later January. I think it was like January 20th last year that Team of the Year actually started. And that would kind of take us to like January 21st or 22nd this year for like when Team of the Year is kind of in full swing. I don't know what they're going to do with that. I don't know when Team of the Year starts. But if the SBC is released like sometime, let's say in the next, I don't know, two weeks, it might be out for a little bit of team of the year. It's probably not going to be out during the entirety of it um, because usually when these are released, they're released for 30 days and team of the year is like almost 30 days away from when this SBC could be dropping. So it might go away like right during the middle of team of the year. So it may not be the easiest one to craft. If you're going to say, I'm going to wait and see, you could wait and see, but also it really just depends on the, t the start time of team of the year. That was a really big reason. Once again, if you remember that people did the, the 92 player of the month Mbappe last year in FIFA 23. So that is the news there. It's crazy that we're getting another Mbappe player of the month, but I mean, he did, des he did deserve it. He had a good month. And I mean, EA could also reserve the right to not release an SBC. We were joking about this on stream yesterday. Imagine if EA just said, Hey, we're going to extend the time on the 92 Mbappe player of the month. So that if you haven't done that SBC, we're going to extend it for another month. That would be a total EA move. I don't expect them to do that, but hey, you never know. So we'll see what happens there. But that is the biggest news that Mbappe Player of the Month is happening again. Now let's talk about more news for today. Yeah, we're talking upgrades again with Thunderstrucks. Because I know for a lot of you guys, you're looking for that, that final upgrade. Whether it's an icon that's getting a plus one today. Uh, because there are some icons that are going to get upgraded like Cruyff. And um, Vandersaur would be a part of that well as well as an Ajax icon. Dog Leash is a big one. People are really, really excited for Dog Leash today if you did that SBC because he's going to be going to 91 rated. Um, and some people are maybe looking at this Dog Leash and they're like, yo, can I get this done in the next 11 days? Because he's going to be sitting here as an upgraded icon with the play style as well. It's already been added to his card. 
Um, and yeah, he's going to become a 91 rated card today. He's going to get 90 dribbling, which is dope. So a nice plus one there for Dog Beach. If you want to check on the cards you're getting upgraded today, make sure you go to Footbin, Players, Trackers, Thunderstruck. You can type in any player there. Now, once again, I want to note that a lot of these cards, guys, especially a lot of the Premier League cards, are once again done with their upgrades. They're maxed out. They've played all four of their league games. Varan, no more upgrades for him. Gabriel Jesus, fully upgraded, reached max potential, no more upgrades for him. But for some of the other top five leagues, Lukaku, they still got one more game to go. Um, Jabi Alonso still has got, had one more game to go for that potential plus one uh, inform upgrade. Depay has got one more game to go. If they get that win against Bilbao, he's going to go to an 89 rated card. So there's still opportunities there for the non-Premier League cards. Bremer, they play Genoa uh, this next uh, couple days from now. He will have an opportunity to go to an 88-rated card as well with that. Uh, Fakir, one more game left. You know, obviously a lot of the, um, the Premier League ones are done, though. So that's just something to note of. And for the, some of these guys like, you know, Bayern Munich, for Jared Muller and for Alfonso Davies, they had this game that was postponed. And I don't know what's going to go on with the postponed games. I don't know how those are going to count or how those are going to work. We might need some uh, communication, please, EA Sports, on those um, about that. So watch out for those upgrades today. As always, sell into the hype because we saw that worked really well with the live cards on the FC Pro Lives. It's probably going to work really well with these Thunderstrucks as well. That way, if EA mess up as well, this is another thing to consider. If EA mess up on some of these upgrades, let's check Deli Ali again. Make sure they haven't just upgraded them while we're doing this video right now. Because Deli Ali is getting a plus one. Yeah, he's still 87 rated. Like, imagine uh, they mess up the upgrades on Thunderstrucks and don't do those on time today. Maybe the upgrade guys on vacation at EA Sports. I don't know. Then, you know, those card prices could drop if the upgrades take longer to actually take and happen in place. So, watch out for that today. Also on Wednesday... We talked about team of the group stage in yesterday's video. We're mentioning it again today with Mbappe. Hopefully today on Wednesday, we see confirmation of this because as of right now, it's only been car designs added to the code and leaks, which are two of the pieces of the puzzle that we normally see before we get another promo. But a loading screen would be the icing on the cake and the confirmation from EA. So watch out for a Wednesday loading screen. EA have been doing those recently. Um, not that it's a new promo, but... It's a promo that I think people would get excited for. And also, it's Champions League this week. It's match day six. It's the final week of the group stages. I think EA would benefit this game by putting on a loading screen and really confirming the team of the group stage is coming because it's always a promo that people in previous years have really enjoyed and it usually brings some good content. So watch out for that. Also today on Wednesday, brand new team of the week. And with that means... We have some Team of the Week leaks. Looks like a pretty mid Team of the Week again. I mean, last week's Team of the Week might have been one of the worst we've had the entire year. We've got Hyunmin Sun to headline this week's Team of the Week 13. We've got Aubameyang, Lacazette, Marino, Taliska, Tavernier, Gatti, Stuani, Lookman, McGinn, Mallard are in there as well. It's going to come down to how much they boost some of these cards and which ones get the featured boosts. Like last week, the Rodman team of the week was one of the best ones. Like that was basically the team of the week, right? This week, it's probably going to be Hyunmin Son. Maybe Taliska will look good for cheap. I mean, his radioactive card with the better links and the long ball plus is a really good card in its own right. So this team of the week does not look very good, but almost always on Wednesdays because of the new team of the week and still with the promo cards and packs, what do EA do? They run lightning rounds in the store, and that means more supply coming in. So maybe you watch out and be a little bit careful with the promo cards today. This is a normal kind of a market movement that we see with promo cards anyway, is that they end up dropping on Wednesdays after content with the division rivals rewards that are going to be coming out. And then also at the same time, people on Thursdays just expect those prices to drop. So they usually do. And with the lightning rounds, kind of creates that sort of situation. So one thing I will say, though, is keep a close eye on these cards because in the past couple of weeks, remember last week on Wednesday with Radioactives, I mean, it was before the prices dropped off big, but we were buying Zaha for, what, 67,000 coins before Rivals Rewards. He went up after Rivals Rewards to like 75,000 coins and then dropped off a lot after that and then even further throughout the weekend. But that's the sort of fluctuation that maybe you see. Maybe you see a price drop off a lot 
um, today on Wednesday, down before Rivals Rewards. You're like, okay, that's a rare card. That's a card people maybe want to try, or it's just hyped, like Hoyland, who's now at a believable price of 140k. Maybe that goes up after Rewards on Thursday a bit, and it's a good short-term flip scenario window right there. Now, a couple other things I want to talk about as well is uh, as we get towards this part of the week, and as the promo is quiet-ish, right, the content's not that insane, and you're maybe wanting to know what you can do with your coins, it seems like it's light work or maybe dumb, right, or just not fun investing, right? But it's actually really smart in the long term. Invest in some of these cards. We have so many of these cards to discard, guys. Any of them that are under 12,000 coins, and I would even include Zidane in this, 14K for Zidane. Like, he's literally at the price of 87 rated fodder and that is a french goalkeeper and i know he doesn't have good um reactions what are his reactions wow 65 those are terrible reactions but like club stock is a don a club stock a slaughterbeck averts club stock almost every single one of these if you can and then i would even also go back and club stock some of the discard radioactives like shakiri Wea, vela ricky Puj, puki um, I would maybe even include, well, Milinkovic is 37k, so that's not a discard club stock, but, um, this like discard club stock, one or two of those. Um, if you have a lot of coins, that's if you have like maybe six, 700,000 coins or more, that's an investment that's going to sit in your club for a long time, but we're getting close, especially for a card like that Shakiri. I really feel like Shakiri has low enough stats that he could be the next time we have a center attacking mid Evo. That's a card for me that I don't think I have one in the club. So I'm going to go pick one up here for like 10, 750 because I'm completely fine doing that. Or maybe even try to snag one on bid here for 10, 5, 0. If you get it with a chem style, bonus points, of course, uh, for getting that. But that's just a really easy investment that you might be able to make. It's not even an investment, really. It's a club stock, right? So I just wanted to point that out because there's a lot of those promo cards, especially this week that are at discard price. And maybe guys, they require these in SBCs at some point. You never know. There's so many at discard. They could do that. They haven't done that at all this year yet, but you never know. So that's one reason to kind of stock that. Let's talk fodder market for a bit as well. 82s, 83s doing great. 83s, 1.1K really starting to rise. 82s still doing good. Selling for lazies, I would assume. Um, 84s, 85s still low. 86s still low. 87s are still about 15k. Again, pick up one of those Adons as a club stock as well. The high tier fodder is still doing okay. 88s are down a smidge, but the 89s still about 39 to 40. The 90s are still about 55, 56k, and the 91s, the Bruin and Holland, still doing very well there. If you had fodder as an investment, maybe consider selling it just to get it out, and that way you can reset. But if you're also thinking about, okay, we have an Icon SBC coming this week still, or sometime between now and Sunday an icon player that's a centurions player we still are watching out for that because that was a leak from ea's content tweet from earlier on in the week uh yesterday so we're watching out for that still that could make high rated fodder rise depending on when that drops we still have a showdown sbc it's going to be coming that might be today as a part of wednesday content as well so if you're still holding on a high rated fodder you can keep relisting that there um, I don't think that 90 rateds go back to 50k this weekend. I don't. I mean, with the Zidane that is out, maybe with more SBCs coming as well, you might have gotten the lowest prices on 89s and 90s this past weekend that you're going to see at least for a couple of weeks. So if you want to keep holding, up to you. But I know that I've taken the cash just because I wanted my coins to be safe as a lot of the market just seems to be dropping right now this week as well. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today on Wednesday. Now, a couple other things to point out with the team of the week. Uh, Undav, Bundesliga Player of the Month, has been leaked. I don't expect it to be this week. Again, wasn't in the EA content tweet. That could be an interesting card. A German striker in the Bundesliga. Could have some good links. Of course, he was in the Prem last year, but no longer there. And then also leaked, we have maybe an SBC that could be coming today. Not this pack. This might be one of our next Icon Upgrade packs. An 87 plus base, Centurions, or Thunderstruck Icon Packs been added to the code, along with an 84 plus campaign mixed pack, which includes Trailblazers, Centurions, Triple Threat, FC Pro Live, or a Thunderstruck player in the pack. So that could be an SBC that maybe even hops into this game today, but it's just a pack that's been added to the code. Um, you know, those mixed campaign pack SBCs are always really cheap. They're always 
really bad value as well. Let's be completely honest. They're, they're cheap and they're bad value. Uh, and that combination goes together because you almost never get a really good pull. But they're cheap and they're fun to do. So those campaign mix packs or party bags, if you will, that could be a part of today's content. Also could be something that could be coming out in this game later on. Again, yesterday for me, I really didn't do much at all. I lazy sold this Ericsson, finally got him out for 34,000 coins, made like three or 4,000 coins there. All of my coins are basically liquid besides a couple of the Caramos that I still have and Zahas that I'm still lazy listing, guys. I'm just sitting pretty on coins right now. Yesterday was actually a day where if you wanted to buy cards for a flip, you needed to buy them before content, right? There were a couple movements yesterday, and there was actually some really big movements on some of the Dynasty cards. Ferland Mendy went from 1.7 million coins all the way down to 1.38, I think, and now he's back to 1.5. You find a rare card, you find a lot of panic selling, you can find fluctuations. Yeah, he's 1.5 mil. He was 1.3 something like a couple of hours ago. So just continue to watch the market. I think today's going to be a day where prices probably dip down once again. Um, but then once we head into maybe Thursday a bit, some prices could just go back up as people get ready for weekend league, playing those qualifiers. And of course, everybody loves the weekend league rewards and what they give out. So this is the last week of the season as well. Maybe they'll be finally refreshing some of those weekend league rewards again. We'll have to see. I think they mentioned that as a part of the winter refresh, but I don't know if that means just them adding that campaign pack. Maybe even this campaign pack is going to be a part of Weekend League Rewards since they're changing who is available in it. And this is kind of like the same campaign pack that we have in Rewards right now. So, I don't know, guys. We'll just have to see how that ends up working out. But that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.